Hello, and um, this video is about whether or not I am perpetuating bad hierarchies. This video is about hierarchies in general. Uh, so, it's, it's a little bit neither here nor there, but it's, in generally it's, it's true that, um, at least within my model of ethics, that what, what's happening with ethical decisions is we are picking one hierarchy over the other. We are perpetuating, you know, a hierarchy we think is good and dismissing the hierarchies we think are bad. In, in a way, ethics is all about picking up good hierarchies and getting rid of bad ones. So the, the framing of this question is, is so, you know, am I perpetuating bad hierarchies when I think I'm perpetuating good ones? You could argue that, you know, positive uh, ethics that's been bad has been because people thought that they were perpetuating good hierarchies when in reality they were perpetuating bad ones. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm going to go over a little bit of like the arguments with how hierarchies work, but, but a hierarchy is a very general thing. It's, it's something that's everywhere in nature, you know, everything is a hierarchy and, um, based on, you know, certain hierarchies are always being picked and chosen over others. Uh, in a way, there's this all there's this this constant competition between hierarchies within nature, with within just reality, uh, that that cannot be avoided. Uh, it's inherent to everything. Even the best hierarchies still involve some of it. You know, so like for example, you know, I could be uh, someone who makes some really good invention that that makes the world a lot better. You know, and um, the way that works is like, but but if I create it, somebody else doesn't create it. So there's a hierarchy there in the sense that I'm the guy who gets to create it. And um, if someone else doesn't create it, they don't get, maybe they don't get the spoils. Well, the spoils associated with the invention are another issue, but in, in the very least, they don't get to have that experience. Um, and if they really crave that experience, that is, th those are other options that are like being foregone, being taken away. You know, if, if Newton came up with his, Newton invented calculus, somebody else couldn't have invented calculus. And then that is like, so So nobody else gets that credit. In the very least, nobody else gets that credit. So there's a comp competition of that sort. However, the positive side to it is that he created calculus, which means somebody else it could have taken longer or, or whatever, and this ended up creating positive value, which led to progress and all that. So, you know, there, there's, there's an obvious... Um, the, the, this 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 trade-off thing is is an obvious uh, thing with hierarchies uh, and how progress works is you're going to have progress and you're going to have trade-offs and you're going to have some opportunities foregone in favor of others, like you know almost anything. Anyone who's trying to be successful is um, in the very least they're going to prevent other people from becoming successful in that particular way, you know. So so even people who rail against hierarchies run into that problem in the least you know if i go out and try to get a job i'll apply to a, i get a job but somebody else didn't get that job you know and um they didn't get the job and so i did and so the but the question now is like well is this what's best is this the best you know hierarchy could they have maybe done that job am i the best person for the job maybe not necessarily there's not necessarily the best person for the job it also could be that it doesn't really matter who does the job because the job isn't um you know that skill like it's, it's a very like low-end job and so it doesn't really matter like anyone could do it you know there's jobs like that you know it it um it's it's hard to say for a lot of things about whether or not the, the thing that that the hierarchy is is picking is necessarily the best or worst thing um and as you know ethicist and and you know so, so somewhat um you know sort of left-wing socialist leaning the, the the question is like the, the, an obvious question of, of personal turmoil for me and just um you know a question of like am i doing everything right well not everything am, am i doing the best that i can within the given context is am i part of the problem right because presumably you could make the claim that some people are perpetuating bad hierarchies and other people are not. Some people are not perpetuating the same hierarchies. It's, it's clear that not all people are perpetuating the same hierarchies, right? This, this dawned on me when I was streaming the other day and this like teenage kid came on the, 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 not the stream, he was on the Discord thing and people heard his voice and a, part of me was thinking it's like, well, you know, it was annoying and um, 
I, I, um, but so there's the two, there's two things being weighed here. There's number one is my annoyance. The fact that I don't like being annoyed. And number two is, uh, the fact, how does this reflect on me? That question entered my mind. How does this reflect on me and my stream? Which is a valid question, but it's also, there could, it could also be a non-valid question because it could be a totally like unrelated perception thing that doesn't really matter. But, but you know, th that aside, my individual instinct was like, okay, this is annoying me, but I can deal with it. However, what scared me was how this made my stream look. And I've argued a lot that that sort of, that kind of like obsession with image, that's not an extreme form of it, but that kind of obsession with image is what might be perpetuating a lot of the hierarchies within society today, especially vanity related hierarchies, hierarchies, wealth hierarchies, um, hierarchies of, of people getting different amounts of, of spoils and, you know, hierarchies that I would argue don't, don't actually um, add to progress, you know, at all. So, you know, the question is, the question is, is that kind of hierarchy necessarily, um, you know, is, is there a way, because a part of it is, of course, I, I would have to adhere to the hierarchy because I'm part of a system that has these hierarchies, and to an extent, my own survival is dependent upon is, is uh, dependent upon how how well I deal with the hierarchies that exist. That's the whole point of like you know going in out and getting a job and stuff. But at the same time, I would want to be someone who sort of pushes the good hierarchies over the bad ones, and that means resisting the bad hierarchies and also acting against them in a uh, you know, in, in, in a sense of not necessarily respecting them or fighting back against them and saying, look, I don't, this is a bad hierarchy. We should, you know, this hierarchy doesn't matter. People in this hierarchy should be treated equal or, or, or something like that. So that's the question, you know, and, you know, there's, 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 it's incredibly complex how it exactly applies. But, you know, let, to, to, to really get into it, let's just go over the fact that there's just like, there, there's certain assumptions people might make about hierarchies that are just not correct. Like, for one, usually people on the left wing are, like, super anti-hierarchy. They're just like, nope, we should have no hierarchies, everyone's equal. Um, that doesn't make any sense. And I just said, like, that's just nonsense. That's just not a thing. There is no such thing as no hierarchies. Like, you and me occupying different place in space-time is a hierarchy, right? Like, you have to understand that. Like, like, the fact that you are there and I am not there is a hierarchy itself, right? Because the hierarchy is just that... It's, it's artificial, but I could just say that the hierarchy is, you know, whoever is closest to whatever s place in space-time that you occupy is at the top of the hierarchy. And that puts you at the top of the hierarchy and people who are far away from you at the bottom. So, you know, th that type of thing. So th there's no way of really escaping all hierarchies. Um, the other side of the argument is that, like, all hierarchies are inherently good or something. And that's just nonsense because there's clear examples of the hierarchies we've just dismissed as a as a species like for example murder is illegal it's illegal because we don't respect that hierarchy you know the ability to kill a person having that potential is not a useful hi well unless you're in the military but in, in within the society that's not a useful hierarchy so we just don't have it no one competes on that level or at least they're encouraged not to so th that is like a, a question of like um that's clearly a bad hierarchy or theft hierarchies, you know, theft is bad in most forms and so on and stuff like that. So there's obvious higher, there's obvious, there's obviously a hierarchy selection process. So there's a few pro to claim that all hierarchies are inherently good is nonsense to claim that hierarchies don't change over time is nonsense. Hierarchies do change over time and there's a clear selection process of hierarchies. Moreover, that selection process directly involves human decision making. It, it has us choosing and picking which hierarchies we want. And which ones we don't want, at least within our vicinity, with with our people that you know we have close ties to within our community, you know within, you know even within our the stuff that we own, our property. Those are all hierarchies that we get to choose, and the selection process happens through us in a way, us directly part of that. So if you're going to claim that the selection process is like natural and not like it doesn't require human oversight, that's not really true because it does. Because the, the hierarchy selection process happens as a result of humans making decisions and, and having virtues and values and, and you know, sort of decision-making heuristics. 
Now, then there's the argument, another more right-wing argument, is that hierarchies are like, you know, hierarchies at the individual level or whatever, but social hierarchies, hierarchies at the level of society, those can't be tampered with by humans. Those can only be affected by the market, or those just need to be determined by nature. And that's also nonsense, for one, because those hierarchies can be affected by humans, and they are affected by humans. So the fact that humans can even have an effect on that suggests that there's no reason a priori to think that, that you know, us, a hierarchy selection process at that level with human direct, like, action and intention is necessarily bad or, or is doomed to fail. I mean, the argument there is really that, like, if you try to, if you try to tamper with the hierarchy at the collective level, you know, you, you, you will end up destroying, um some hierarchy there that's inherently good the hierarchy that like creates prosperity and that's a really flimsy argument i mean there's no reason to think that that's true just just because selection processes through evolution are going to happen at every level evolution is a multi-layer thing and human decision making is a multi-layer thing right we have the cap capability of thinking about things on a collective level we have the capability of thinking of things at an individual level what that means is selection processes will exist at every level and in some cases you know, s certain hierarchies existing at one level mean that certain other hierarchies can't exist at another level. Or, you know, hierarchies existing within the group means that, you know, the group as a whole is at the bottom of another hierarchy. The, the, the hierarchies have all these trade-offs uh, with, with one another, both across one level and between different levels. So, you know, this is like what, what some multi-layer evolutionists will say is that like competitiveness at the, um, you know, competitiveness at the collective level means, sorry, competitiveness at the uh, individual level within a group uh, means that there is no competitiveness at the group level, right? So stuff like that, right? You, you know, you, you have trade-offs like that happening all the time. So, you know, really the argument that people just somehow cannot possibly uh, make things better by affecting the hierarchies at a collective level is inherently wrong, right? I think the very fact that it's, pos it's something that's possible, so that's something that we can do, suggests that it's part of some natural order, suggests that it's part of some natural selection process because we have that ability, which means it is, in principle, the, part of that is in principle capable of creating good hierarchies. So I'm trying to just dismiss the whole Hayek uh, thing about how spontaneous and, and uh, designed order. But, but anyway, you know, th th this is the hierarchy selection process exists and it's, and it's clear. And it's like, and it exists almost everywhere. Like if you're watching this video, you're not watching some other video. Or, you know, if I'm making this video, I'm not doing something else. Or we're not doing something else and we're not, we're foregoing other opportunities. So, you know, what is the goal? Well, th the goal is ultimately for the, whatever it gets picked to be the best possible thing, you know, so the, the, it would have to be the thing that brings the best net benefit, you know, obviously there's going to be a cost because, you know, if you're going to watch this video, if I'm going to make this video, there are going to be other opportunities that are just foregone and abandoned. That's not inevitable. What is inevitable, so, sorry, that's, uh, that is inevitable. What is avoidable, though, is the cost of these other opportunities because it could be that, you know, by taking this path and this opportunity, we end up making the world better for everyone in such a way that, you know, all of the downsides to picking this thing over others, to, to you know, picking this direction, particular direction, and, and having Newton create his calculus or whatever, and, and, and not having other people get the chance or the opportunity to have that, have that thing happen to them, um, they still benefit so much from that event that they couldn't possibly benefit any any less in any other um th that they would benefit less if this were any other option or or that you know it could be a class of options and if if you know if if the option was something outside of this class of options the the, the net benefit would be less basically the amount of surplus that's created is so much greater than the the costs of actually doing a thing that is sort of how this hierarchy selection process is supposed to happen, right? It's supposed to happen in a way where, you know, we make decisions, but we make them in such a way where, you know, like the thing that I do 
helps you want to do the thing that you do and we all like there's this convergence of value in in that you know every single step that is taken by every individual is helps every other individual take the steps that they're taking and it's this it's constantly like converging more and more um that's sort of the, that that's sort of the complexitist ideal um that's how it's, that's how it should work in general so the the question here is of, is of course back to like which hierarchies uh are aren't good because the way i see it um like that thing my example with that teenager on the stream you know my example it, it it's like i i um i do a lot of things where i sort of decry existing hierarchies on this channel i decry rooster teeth i decry certain films or nitpick certain movies and, and certain ideologies well the thing is if if um if i'm decrying them that means i'm creating negative negativity for someone right the question is is the hierarchy i'm enforcing the the hierarchy that places that stuff at the bottom that i'm the stuff that i'm criticizing at the bottom is that hierarchy better for society in the way that the stuff that would be at the top of that hierarchy is actually good so for example criticizing rooster teeth does that create like does that does that actually have a positive effect? I guess that's sort of what I'm I'm asking for you your guys' opinions. I'm asking for people's opinions because it's like, it, I I think about this quite a bit, and it's just like it. In some ways, it's like obviously yes, but at, uh, other times I think obviously no because, you know, in in a lot of ways I think that I'm not really. You know, I'm not really contributing. You know, in in any way, different than anybody else. Which is kind of, yeah, that's that's kind of defeatist. I mean, it's kind of like saying that like all the hierarchies that exist now and all the time are like perfect, you know, because they exist now or something. Which is like ethically a very vacuous position. It's a basically saying that the, you know, everything that happens is like the best possible thing that could happen. I don't know if there's a term for that, but it's basically taking determinism and saying, you know, the path that's been laid out is the best path problem with that is that that's not that doesn't help us make decisions at all it's totally vacuous it, it doesn't tell us how to make future regarding decisions when if we just accept everything that happens is the best possible thing okay well what are th that still doesn't change the fact that the hierarchies that exist change so there is a still a selection process of hierarchies most of what i do is i criticize art and i'm just asking is like what's well, criticizing art is that a good thing because on the one hand it should be perpetuating some sort of you know elitism where, where people try to get better at making art because it's it's a critique right that's what criticizing art is for but at the same time it it could create negativity in that um it could bring the people who are struggling making art down you know and it, it is bringing down people who are actually succeeding at making art um part of that make part of it makes me think that that's not the case just because i don't really critique independent stuff or like you know stuff that's not really successful anyway i'm critiquing stuff that's successful right because it's successful within the world today which means it you know the world seems to value it and i'm seeing like there's it's it's valued but it's it's superficial value there there's a better way to do it so i'm critiquing it on the basis that there's an even better way to do it and that kind of critique is like um it's it's um it's not perpetuating the existing hierarchy so so in a way it's like they, they they couldn't um they don't have an excuse for making their mistake like they had all the resources they had all the ties they had all the skill they they they're successful right they're they were going to be successful so i guess what i'm asking is like how they could have been even more successful or how they could have not just been successful but also added more value to the works that they made so it's in a way I'm not I, I think that that particular thing isn't exactly kicking down but at the same time you know people won't agree they'll they'll look at like my criticisms of rooster teeth and think oh look they worked hard what are you doing criticizing them and it's th so this is what I'm asking you know because one thing um I I hate doing is is the idea that I'm what I'm doing is somehow hurting the I don't want to be kicking down basically am I hurting the little guy by trying to you know have this sort of constructive elitist 
sense where, where I'm sort of trying to make commentary on how to improve things because I do believe in improving things, right? That's sort of so, – so it's, it's, it's a real question because it, ideally you'd want to do both. And obviously – so so my question ultimately, at least when it comes to that, is am I perpetuating a bad hierarchy in that way, do you think? What, what are your opinions on that particular kind of thing? What, like how, when, is it a, when is it perpetuating a good hierarchy and when is it not perpetuating it a, good, uh, a good hierarchy? When is it a bad hierarchy? Of course, we have to agree on what good and bad are, but like within the realm of some sort of progress-oriented view, like am I perpetuating good hierarchies or not? Because I think what I'm pushing for is use value. What I'm pushing for is um, so, some you know complexity. What I'm pushing for is something that people can get more positivity out of and decrying things that people don't get enough positive positivity out of um but at the same time i don't want to kick down the people who are you know either not talented or um they're just struggling they don't they don't have the skill or the understanding or they're not they're they're not talentless but they're just not that good i don't want to kick them down i want to encourage them so it's it's there's this trade-off there's this annoying trade-off like am i am i is my criticism positive in that it's you know bringing that with that has potential up or is it just kicking down that which is hopeless anyway you know so that's what i want to know and then there's the whole thing with wealth hierarchy and the question of whether the wealth hierarchy adds to progress and all that so yeah i mean i'd like to um so so by all means please let me know what you think about that because it's like th this is um what this is one of the things that really uh bothers me a lot is just like I don't know obviously like I said before I can't be the type of person that just doesn't cause any harm because that's always the case you know you get a job you cause someone harm person watches your video not somebody else's you you create harm you know you can't there there is never a thing where there's no cost to anything you do it's like an, it's an opportunity cost thing but the goal is to say that that even though I'm doing, I might be, in a transient sense, marginally hurting someone with everything I put forward. The question is, am I making up for that with positivity and ideas and, and the net benefits that are brought to the table? So if you guys enjoy my content, I'd like to know what you think about that because that's really... Um, it's important to be able to do that, or at least know that you are anyway. Cheers.